G'day everybody, where's Wally here? Well, finally no fanfare, got another video up and I could hardly wait. So imagine my disappointment when I see he's only just talking about the ISS. And to make matters worth, he says, nothing distinct can be seen from the ISS. Then no fanfare said, Globetards reckon they have shot the ISS with AP-900 from Earth, way easier for ISS to shoot a ship, especially with one of the many telescopic cameras they have on show hanging around the international shit show. What's his claim? He says they don't ever show anything distinct. Well, this is sure going to be easy, isn't it? No fanfare once again showing his complete inability to research. If only you put as much time into research as you did playing with your new animation tool, mate. Give it up. It's not good telling lies, I tell ya. So have you ever been inside working away and you notice a bit of a weird glow coming from outside? And you run outside and see that there's a brilliant red sunset or such thing happening? Well, apparently this happens on the ISS too. Alex Gerst was there one day working away in the cupola and he noticed an orange glow. And I guess it would normally glow blue or white in the daytime with the reflection from the earth, but he was suddenly aware of this orange hue in the sky. Floor. Ceiling? Cupola? I don't know. Anyway, Alex, he snapped this photo out the Nadar facing window. Ooh, any detail in that, no fanfare? For nothing else but an epic fail. Or maybe you literally meant ships. You can see them too. So as you can see there, no fanfare, we have ships in the ocean. Ooh, geez, you're making yourself look all clever there, where's Wally? And we have planes flying along, leaving contrails that they were able to pick up from the ISS as well. Now, bearing in mind, all of these photos are just from one guy, Alex Gerst, and he is an ESA astronaut, not a NASA guy. So this is his own personal collection. I didn't have to go very far to look, did I? How come you're so bad at this research, mate? Give it up. It's not good telling lies, I tell you. I'm just going to ask the expert on this one. Wolfie, me mate, what do you think? So here is Frankfurt Airport, photographed from the ISS. That should be distinct enough for even the dimmest of flat earthers to see. Let's zoom in a little and see if we can actually see a plane. And remember, they're about the same size as the ISS. Well, look at that. We can see planes. That was easy enough. Barely an inconvenience. Give it up. It's not good telling lies, I tell you. So, he has links with NASA. If he is fair income, he could contact them to ask for some video footage of ships from the ISS, showing ships in the northern hemisphere and ships in the south virtually simultaneously. Oh, hold on there. Say what now? Did you just say you wanted to see it simultaneously in the northern and southern hemisphere? Um, no fanfare. The ISS is only 400 kilometers up. It's not like the Tesla Roadster, which was 5,000 kilometers, and you could easily see both hemispheres at once. Um, yeah, mate, you're not going to be able to do that, because, guess what, the Earth's a ball, and you're really, really close to it. And come to think of it, no fanfare, I think you just debunked your whole flat Earth argument there. I mean, the reason the ISS, even at 400 kilometers up, can only see a thousand kilometers in all directions is because ball i want to say ball what do you think mate give it up it's not good telling lies i tell you before i go tim a rse face made this comment you will delete me for showing you are a complete idiot and tim a yes no fanfare he's like so many flatties he talks a big talk and yet we all are blocked because we keep showing no fanfare to be a complete idiot many times over he hides in Coward's Castle, and yet he's freely able to visit and comment all of our channels. But, of course, he does get hammered like nobody's business when he does poke his heads above the parapets. Look, I guess we've got nothing to fear. The truth fears no criticism. Hey, Tim, hey. Give it up. It's not good telling lies, I tell ya. Alrighty then. We know Wolfie6020 was a moderator in the live chat with One More Orbit. Oh, and I see no fanfare is still crying about One More Orbit. Mate, I will let you on a little secret. I was the one who set up the mods for the OMO. It was me, Little Where's Wally, who set up all these mods for One More Orbit, you know. And how did I get the gig? I hear you ask. Well, it was really easy. I asked. Well, who would have thought it was that simple? And besides, going through the boss and the boss's boss and then the boss's boss's boss just takes too long. 
give it up. It's not good telling lies, I tell you. So no fanfare. We know you've got a P900. You sort of did something with it one time. Here's the link for the ISS Transit Finder. So why don't you get yourself out one afternoon, one night. So it's up to you. Go and video the ISS transiting the moon. You can do it. It's pretty easy. Look, if Jaron can do it, you can do it, mate. Oh, no, Fanta, what do you got to lose? Oh, we know what you've got to lose. Give it up. It's not good telling lies, I tell you.